The battle between Mickey Mouse and Meatball Ron has escalated as Disney sues Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida for political retaliation. Intrigued? Then click that like and subscribe and enjoy the video. So many YouTube channels uh, that deal with politics, they're fueled by optimism or cynicism, and we certainly have a bit of that on this channel. But there's also a third factor, which is schadenfreude. And uh, when it comes to Ron DeSantis, the Republican governor of Florida, he is a nexus. He is a, a wellspring of schadenfreude from which we all drink greedily, right? We gulp at the schadenfreude font of Ron DeSantis because right now uh, it's not looking good for Ron DeSantis politically. We did a video the other day where he's getting hammered left, right, and center by Donald Trump, who sees him as a rival for the Republican uh, presidential nomination in 2024, even though Ron DeSantis hasn't formally announced. And the poll numbers reflect it. He's getting his ass kicked in the polls. But now he, um, he has another opponent, right? So Ron DeSantis has been embroiled in a battle with one of the most powerful corporations in the world, which is the Disney Corporation. And that battle has reached a fever pitch because now Disney has filed a lawsuit, a formal lawsuit in Florida against Ron DeSantis for a targeted campaign of government retaliation, right? <clears throat> so you know the story. You're familiar with it, right? So Ron DeSantis tried to pass a, a fascistic, homophobic, transphobic, don't say gay bill. Um, the party of <laughs> personal freedom and liberty wants to effectively silence trans uh, and gay people. And uh, Disney in, you know, rainbow capitalism, right? So it's, it's not that we have no reason to believe that Disney sincerely loves the trans community or the homosexual community. We have no reason to believe that, but it's, it's a form of rainbow capitalism. They understand where their bread is buttered. They understand that it is profitable to at least espouse progressive values. And you know what? Quite, quite frankly, I'll take it, right? Anything that repeats and espouses progressive values is good, especially when it's coming from something like Disney. So they, you know, gave their opposition to the Don't Say Gay Bill publicly. And just like that, Ron DeSantis, the Republican governor of Florida, turned on Disney because he saw it as an unforgivable act of political criticism, and he will not abide it. Again, the company, the party of personal liberty, the party of personal freedom, the party that says that, you know, companies and corporations are people, and they should be able to do or donate uh, whatever they want. They should be able to have their political opinions. Well, it turns out they actually, the Republican Party doesn't believe that because as soon as corporations and businesses criticize the Republican Party, then they've just, they've overstepped. So that triggered an ongoing back and forth for over a year now, battle between <coughs> Disney and the Republican Party in Florida as represented by Ron DeSantis. As a reminder, Disney is by far Florida's biggest employer. And they're a huge attraction because you have a theme park there, right? Disney World, Disneyland, Disneyland um, in Florida. And it's a big deal, right? So he is running a risk of, Governor DeSantis is, of pissing off a very powerful corporation with very gifted attorneys and a, a, a corporation that brings quite a bit of money and employs quite a few people, right? So DeSantis just yanked out <laughs> the special tax... Um, the special tax privileges that Disney had with their special district and things like that, that he, they'd enjoyed for decades, right? So it was nothing new, right? This, this had been going on. Certain privileges and benefits that Disney benefited from have, have gone on for decades. But only after Disney criticized DeSantis did he, he feel the need to revoke it outright. So right before <coughs> a Governor DeSantis-appointed board of Republicans was essentially you know, installed to take over to assume control of the Reedy Creek District, which is where the, the Disney theme park is, and basically reclaim the, the special district from Disney, and only Disney. There are other special districts out there for other corporations that DeSantis has not touched, but because Disney has criticized him, that's the one he's targeting. Well, Disney and Disney's lawyers are very clever. And basically, the day before DeSantis's hand-picked right-wing fascistic board was to assume control, Disney's board, basically on their way out the door, effectively gave control, most control, back to the Disney Corporation. So they basically disempowered their own board, knowing that a new board was coming to take its place, right? And it was seen as a, a major legal coup. Well, they voted today. The new DeSantis board effective, tried to vote to nullify that agreement, basically saying, look, the, the previous Disney board effectively tried to um, tried to kneecap us right before we were supposed to take power. This is unacceptable. We vote to nullify the agreement. Within minutes of the DeSantis board voting to do that, 
to try to take power back from Disney and into this governor-approved right-wing fascistic board. The Disney Corporation sued Ron DeSantis. They followed, they filed the lawsuit, citing a targeted campaign of government retaliation, effectively claiming that DeSantis is using state power to target Disney, to punish Disney for um, espousing political opinions, which is what he's doing, right? And we saw it earlier. I mean, you know, I think it was a couple of days ago, DeSantis said publicly, you know, there are other creative ways he was going to try to punish Disney, maybe create a state park, maybe try to do more amusement parks. Someone even said, like, maybe you need another state prison, suggesting that to punish Disney, DeSantis was going to try to build a federal or excuse me, a state prison right next door. So it's a, it's a level of pettiness <coughs> um, that I think gives Disney's lawsuit quite a bit of teeth. And it's only begun, but this is a, a clearly an escalation in um, um, the, the battle between them. Disney's lawsuit called the DeSantis board's actions patently retaliatory, patently anti-business, and patently unconstitutional. Uh, Bob Iger, who's Disney CEO, says that uh, DeSantis is anti-business and anti-Florida for his actions. Um, and there's a potential risk that this battle between Disney and DeSantis will create a tremendous tax liability for the Florida taxpayer if Disney, you know, is no longer liable for paying the taxes to fund the special district that they used to control. It's just a, it's a massive mess that DeSantis himself created. This is his fault because he brooks no dissent. The party of freedom, the party of differing viewpoints, all these things that the Republican Party claims to be, they don't. They, they, this is a clear attempt to leverage state power to punish Disney for defying him. And uh, so far, Disney has scored quite a few points. Um, we, we don't know where this lawsuit will go, but Disney reputedly, or reputably has some of the best lawyers in the industry. So there's no telling how it'll go, but um, uh, I'm not betting against <coughs> I'm not betting against Mickey Mouse at this point, and I don't think you all should either. Uh, until evidence suggests otherwise.